Hello, and welcome back or welcome to my channel. Um, I'm Jen, and this is Homemaker Jen, and I'm so happy to have you guys here with me today. Um, we might get a little appearance from my cat in a second. <laughs> Um, today we are going to talk about everything that I made in the month of February. I had quite a busy month again with sewing, um, so I'm really, really excited to share all of that with you guys. And um, first, let's start with what I'm wearing today. Today I'm wearing the Amelia Lane uh, Dream Tea dress. I, um, I cut this one out as a dress. It is made in Amelia Lane Designs uh, rayon spandex color called Army. Um, it's seriously my favorite their solid rayon spandex are by far my favorite. Um, they sew so amazingly well. Um, they're slinky, they're cool to the touch, they're um, just ultimately the perfect rayon spandex, really. Um, so that is what I'm wearing today, and um, let's get into my makes. Okay, so the first thing that I made this month is an Amelia Lane Designs Dream Tea. It really is becoming my most favorite tea pattern. Um, it's all, it's because it's a dolman sleeve, it's really easy to sew. It's um, shoulder seams, side seams, and hemming in a neckband. It's really, like I said, I think in my January makes video, it really is the quickest sew. Very beginner friendly. And so I made this one with fabric that I got from So So English. It is a Rayon Modal. Modal, modal, I know how to talk. Modal um, that has this really cute sewing machine and floral design all over it. The um, background is kind of like a lighter navy. The sewing machines are a mint color with some nice pops of pink in the floral. Um, I really am loving this top. I did make a little mistake on this one and I didn't take a picture of it. I accidentally <laughs> cut two fronts out when I was cutting out the fabric. Um, so I kind of had to sew in the back portion of the top. Um, but when I normally have my hair down, so it, you can't really see, it's not a big deal. And even if it was, it would just look like a design feature. So that's what we're going with. It's a happy little mistake. Um, the next thing that I made this month is actually not for me. It was for my oldest son. He had a school concert in the month of February that was a pajama party theme. They did all these really cute like bedtime themed songs. It was a really, really cute performance. Um, and he asked that I make him, um, he's actually homesick today, so he wants to kind of show you where I show you his jammers. Say hi. Hi. This is my oldest guy. Um, so these are the pajamas that I made for him. Um, again, I will pop in some pictures so you can see like the full thing. Um, the top is a Ellie and Mac Discover. Go ahead and go back over there, okay, Bobby? Um, it's an Ellie and Mac Discover that I did the cuffed sleeve option on, and the pants are Patterns for Pirates, Walk the Planks. Um, that pattern is actually a free pattern on their website and um, they have it for kids and for adults. So um, it's the basically the same two piece patterns that I used to make all of our Christmas pajamas in December. Um, he really, really liked them and I made them with the Joann's Star Wars doodle fabrics that I got in January um, that I had bought specifically to make him those with and he loved them and he did such a great job. He actually had a speaking part in his concert and did such an amazing job and it was just so much fun to watch him um, perform with all of his classmates. The next thing that I made is uh, Patterns for Pirates Cocoon Cardigan. Um, it is one of my favorite cardigan patterns. I haven't tried too many cardigan patterns, mostly because I tried this one first and I loved it so much, but I really do need to branch out so I don't have just like 10 of the same cardigan. This one is made with Amelia Lane Designs uh, Double Brush Poly called Juniper. It's this gorgeous teal colored background with these burnt orange and cream colored floral on it. It is, it, I love this color combination so much and I honestly didn't think that I was going to. How I got that fabric, um, in case you don't remember, it was in their VIP group and it was the last three yards and I got two of the last three yards and knew instantly what I needed to make with it. 
Um, what I did different with this one is I added elbow patches on the back. I've never done that with a cocoon cardigan before. Um, and for those, I used the Amelia Lane Designs Rust Pointel for that. I was really hesitant to do it at the beginning. Um, I actually asked in the group if it was a good idea um, because I thought, is this gonna make it look like 270s-ish with like the burnt orange colors and stuff? Like too much, like um, I took apart grandma's couch and like threw all kinds of stuff together. Um, but I'm so, so happy that I added the elbow patches. It just gives it a nice extra detail. It's a different texture, the point tail, because it's like that kind of ribbed um, like mixture of material and so it gives it just a nice texture um, and they were pretty easy to put together and um, I think it just pulled the whole cardigan together beautifully and, and I love it so much I've worn it at least five times since I've made it um, maybe more probably more and so uh, the next thing that I made I'm actually very very proud of this project because I have never really hacked a pattern before I've I'm very much felt like I was still in the very beginner stages of my expertise in sewing and so I was always quite nervous to kind of take a pattern and see it think of something else that I wanted and blend the two together to make it what I see in my head and I've had ideas I just never have a, tried them I was too scared to do it before but this time I really wanted to do something special. I wanted to have, my husband and I actually were getting a date night for Valentine's Day this year. Um, we haven't gone on a date night for Valentine's Day, gosh, probably in, I mean, my son's almost nine, so at least since he was born. So in, in at least nine years, my husband and I haven't gone out on Valentine's Day. And so I really wanted something special to wear on our date. And so what I did was I took the Ellie and Mac Be Dreamy dress and I hacked it. And that sounds like, like I totally destroyed the dress, but I didn't. <laughs> it's beautiful. Um, I hacked it to be um, an A-line midi length skirt. So generally, or usually with the Be Dreamy dress, it's a high-low hem or a maxi dress. So longer in the, the high-low, you know, longer in the back than in the front. Um, and it has these flutter sleeves or the maxi. And I, and I didn't want a full maxi. I wanted um, just kind of like an A-line midi length skirt. So what I did was I took um, the length of the, <clears throat> Like I took the maxi length pattern piece for the skirt and I took, I think it was like six or eight inches off of the bottom length and kind of just followed the curve of the skirt and making it um, so it would still flow like an A-line skirt. And then I just copied that over to the back piece um, and cut my skirt out that way. I also don't really like the flutter sleeves to be completely honest. I'm not, I'm very self-conscious of my arms because I am a bigger girl, I'm a curvier girl. I'm very self-conscious of my arms, um, but I wanted to do, I didn't want just plain sleeves. So what I did is I took the sleeve piece, pattern piece from the Ellie and Mac Discover shirt. I added about a quarter of an inch to three eighths of an inch of seam allowance on the fold and um, cut two sleeves out and then I cut the sleeves in half and stitched them together at the top by four inches and then at the bottom by an inch and a half and um, created this super cute peekaboo cutout sleeve um, that I banded for the hem. And it turned out so amazingly well. I loved the dress, I felt beautiful in it, which is really the whole point of making clothes for yourself, isn't it? Because you wanna feel beautiful in the clothes that you wear and you can't always feel that way in ready to wear clothes, especially um, because they don't make them specifically to your size, right? They're like a like a size small, is like fits all smalls. But you know, when you make a small, you can kind of grade out and make it um, fit to your body shape. So I felt so beautiful and so confident and had a great time on our date. And what's actually really funny is that we decided that we did not want to go out to a restaurant to eat. We thought it was going to be way too crazy. So we still got dressed up and ordered takeout food from our favorite restaurant and ate dinner at home and watched a movie at home and just had that time together while the kids were at a um, parents night out event and they had a great time and um, it was just a really, really fun night. And so I have zero regrets about not actually going out on Valentine's Day and I still felt beautiful in my dress. 
Um, the next thing I made was actually a part of a sew along over in the Amelia Lane Designs um, fabric group over on Facebook. Um, sew alongs are really one of my favorite ways to um, communicate and get to know other sewists um, because we're all working on the same thing. We might all have the same struggle or someone might have an idea that the other person didn't have and we kind of all mash them together and we all share what we make at the end and it's just a really fun sense of community and um, working together on a, on a project and you get something fun to wear at the end. So this sew along that they did was the apostrophe my fit leggings. Um, I've never made them before. I've actually never made real pants for myself before and I say that kind of like tongue in cheek because I've made pants but they were pajama pants for um, Christmas, right? Our Christmas pajama pants. But I don't count those as real pants because I don't wear them outside the house. Um, so these are my real, I can wear these outside of the house. <laughs> oh, there's Oscar. Say hi. <laughs> um, they're my first real pair of pants. So um, I made these with Amelia Lane Designs Dry Tex Black um, Athletic Fabric and their Athletic Brushed Polyester Lilac Fabric. Um, I did, for the options on there, I did the um, side pockets on the side and I did add the gusset um, into the crotch seam of the pants. But I don't know that I would add that again because I think um, it added a little too much fabric there so there's a little it the fit is great I love the pants but I just don't think that I would add the gusset again I don't think it's necessary for my body shape um, to go with this I actually also made the itch to stitch lago like lago tank um, in and that is just in the $1 per yard mystery Walmart knit fabric that I still I honestly still have so much of it that I could make at least two more shirts or something out of it. You're okay, Oscar. Um, so I made those to go together and I love how they both pieces turned out. Um, the I love the way that the pants fit. I did the full length, um, like the ankle length pant. I was going to add, there's an option to do like a zipper pocket on the back panel and I was gonna add that but I didn't have a zip, like when I went to go construct that part of it, I didn't have a zipper long enough. And so I just decided to scratch that and um, piece the pieces together to create my waistband. Um, and it worked out perfectly fine. So I will say though, going back to the apostrophe um, patterns, I've never ever um, experienced a pattern like this. So it's really, really cool. It's prints out completely customized to your measurements. So hence them being called my fit leggings. Like you put in all of your detailed measurements for your your waist, your hips, your um, your inseam from your crotch to your knee to your from your crotch to your ankle, um, your rise, everything. Just every measurement that you would need for a pair of pants, you put in, and then it customizes customizes the printed pattern for you so you know you're getting the perfect fit for yourself and I think that is just so amazing and what's really awesome is that I actually won the sew along so they have a contest going along with it you post your daily pictures of your progress and um, and then you post your finish your finished project and um, and then at the end of the week or however long the sew along is they do a drawing and I actually won <laughs> so excited and so um, I won a free pattern from apostrophe um, patterns and then I got a shop credit for a million lane designs which I've already spent <laughs> but that's for another video so that's everything that I made this month I'm still sitting in what is currently the playroom but will very soon become my sewing room I actually just ordered all of the furniture pieces for my sewing room and my husband and I are gonna start working on installing the new flooring in here this weekend. And so um, it's gonna be coming together. So I can't wait to share that with you guys as the progress goes along. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Or if you wanna see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.